What's up ladies, it's your girl Miss Emily Paints and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial with the Morphe 9K Khaki Calling Palette and this makeup tutorial is for Cinco de Mayo so if you want to learn how to do this very 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 easy makeup look please keep watching Okay, so what I love about this little palette, first of all, is that look at how cute all of these colors are. <laughs> it has so many colors that match and that you can blend and use together. So I'm going to be digging into this light green shade right here. And I'm using a fluffy brush. And this is by Morphe as well. These are my personal favorite brushes from them. Also, if you guys didn't know, I use this little jar just to be tapping off the excess powder that comes out of my brushes. Because if you do this on a palette or anything else you're gonna get powder all over the place and we don't want that and a lot of you guys that follow me know that that is something that i live by <laughs> tap into the jar not the floor because you're gonna get this all over your carpet or your vanity or everywhere else so yeah excuse me okay so anyways here we go i'm gonna be applying this all over my crease and i'm gonna start off with this eye i'm gonna be applying this all over my crease in small little circular motions and I know that because of the whole crazy stuff that has been going on with people getting sick and you guys know what I'm talking about um I have not seen and nobody has talked about that I know of about Cinco de Mayo and traditions and everything that we used to do you know so I was like hey you know what I should probably do a video for Cinco de Mayo because like I don't see anybody talking about this and I'm like what the hell like it's next week <laughs> somebody has to do something so here I am making this tutorial. So I'm grabbing more of this product and I'm simply just blending it in small little circular motions all over my crease. It's okay to go a little bit above the crease, just not too high. Also the lipstick that I'm wearing you guys, which I freaking love, is from Glamlight. They sent this over to me about a couple months ago. Um, it's called Red Velvet. Freaking pretty, so pretty. So I'm going to grab some more of this green and I'm just going to simply blend it in the same area. I just want to darken it up a little bit. There is a darker shade of green, but I don't think I want to go into that color because I kind of want to leave the top less dramatic, you know, like the eyeshadow part of the face. Because we already have like a bold red lipstick on and we have these. So I don't want to be too dramatic. So I'm going to be blending this still in little circles and we can also do side to side motions just to make it as smoky as possible. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some and put it on the other side as well. Oh my god you guys I literally got off of work today and I was like I'm going to go get myself some flowers from like Dollar General or something. And I was like rushing I was like oh I gotta go film this. Um, so, you know, whenever I get like a bright idea, I'm like, oh shit, like I gotta go do it, I gotta go do it. <laughs> so I went into the Dollar General, I got these little flowers, which I easily put on with some like bobby pins. <laughs> and on, I'm gonna be honest, like today was not my day, you guys. I had such a like weird ass day at work. Um, but I still wanted to come on here and do this. And, well, you guys are probably gonna be seeing this video on the week of May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, next week, and this is being filmed on a Thursday, so the Thursday before. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I had a weird ass day. Anyways, I'm just continuing to blend this side to side and in small circular motions, and this is like super, super fast and easy makeup. Um, the cool thing about this like green eyeshadow is that like it's a very, very, very blendable that's what i like about like the morphe products the eyeshadow is not too powdery on the palette so i'm just going in like small little circles and it's blending perfectly i think it looks very very nice and smoky so after this green is on so i'm just gonna take a different brush and i'm gonna take this rude <laughs> i'm gonna take this flat brush and grab some of this color down here and it's like a shimmery green, like shimmery light green color. And I'm going to tap some of the excess off. And I'm going to be applying this all over my lid. Oh my god, I just, I just love these two colors together. Like I think this like shimmery shade just gives it like that extra pop that we need. <laughs> I should have probably have gotten like some like drinks or something right now. I should have been drinking for Cinco de Mayo. 
just to celebrate. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyways, but for real, you guys, I noticed that not a lot of people were like, um, and not a lot of people were talking about Cinco de Mayo or anything, and I'm just, it made me sad because I was like, what the hell? Like, every year people like used to make like a big fuzz out of it. By the way, before I continue, um, I did apply the shimmery shade from like the inner corner all the way to the other side, and only until you reach the crease up here. You're not going to go above the crease because we do not want to cover the other green shade on top. So yeah, like I was saying, I feel like usually people make like a big fuzz out of like these type of celebrations and stuff. And this time I was just like not hearing anything about it. And I was like, what the hell? Like, I feel like somebody has to do something. Like we can't just not celebrate, you know, or do something for that day. I remember when I was like smaller, like in school, they used to like put music on and we used to have celebrations and we could wear all these colors. And now it's like schools don't really do that. Or at least not over here. I don't know about like California and stuff because I know a lot of you guys are from California. But here in, in Virginia, like not a lot of people do that stuff. And where I work in the school, nobody nobody's like talking about Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> so kind of sucks okay so now after that I have applied the shimmery shade I'm gonna go back in with the first brush that I used and I'm not gonna grab any product I'm just simply gonna go in and blend those two shades not together but like just blend right on the crease so that they kind of like mesh if you know what I mean so they connect <laughs> so I'm just gonna go side to side little circles and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And this is like very beginner friendly, you guys. Because I'm literally only using like two colors off of this palette. Literally just two colors. And another thing is that I know that um, the females that like do like their Mexico, you know, like colors on their face and stuff for Cinco de Mayo. They always have like this dramatic blush. So let me look for a blush really quick because you cannot... You cannot not wear blush for makeup like this. So let me see. I'm going to take... Okay, so I found a blush and I'm going to be using one from Pixie. Excuse the palette. I know it's dirty. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this pink right here. And let me just take a little brush. And I'm going to be applying this blush. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's like bright pink. <laughs> Oh my god, I have not wore blush. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I can't say blush. I have not wore blush in a long ass time, so this feels so weird. I feel like I look like a clown. I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna bring it up here, like the way that people are using it nowadays, because they see that it like lifts your face up. And of course, we can't go wrong with some eyeliner. So I know that back in the day, like people used to put a little bit of blush like on their forehead, their nose, and down here. So that's just what I'm doing just to like make my face like stand out a little bit more. So I already showed you guys the lipstick that I used. And next I'm going to put on some eyeliner which I just bought. So I'm like super excited to try it. And I got this at Dollar General. You guys, they have like the best makeup. So let me show you guys what I bought because I'm going to be applying the eyeliner anyway. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys. So I bought this eyelash curler because I don't have an eyelash curler for whatever reason. So... I'm going to be using that and then I got this like powder from Believe Beauty and you guys if you want some good affordable makeup use this like Believe Beauty is the shiz. It's very good quality for cheap makeup just so you know like very very good quality and I also got this um, brow pencil which I don't know how it'll look but I did get it just to try it out and see if it's good, if it's worth it, whatever the case is. I got this very, very, very light foundation. This is from Believe Beauty 2. And this foundation, you guys, I use it every single day. Like, here's mine. <laughs> I use it every single day. And also their concealers. Like, I have, like, loads and loads of them. Because it's so cheap. It's, like, the concealer is $4. And the foundations are 5 And this product is, like good ass quality especially if you want something to be using like every single day this is 
this is what you need to get <laughs> go to Dollar General and you'll find this for four dollars or five dollars so I bought this light one because I have a client this weekend and I wanted to make sure I had like a light color in case you know she doesn't want that thick consistency from like the more expensive foundations that I have so I was like let me just get this one and see because this is like medium like little to medium coverage so I was like let me just get this one and see if like it works with her you know because I don't know if she's gonna like heavy makeup or light makeup so I was like I'm not gonna risk her being like this is too heavy you know because it happens trust me it happens and I have to take off my clients full makeup and start all over again and it freaking sucks and they don't understand how bad that sucks so don't do that to makeup artists you guys don't do that to makeup artists seriously okay so I also bought these 3d lashes and they were like 450 you guys like look they're pretty like they're pretty for inexpensive eyelashes so I got these for my client as well in case they don't like well she because it's just one I was like in case she does not like the big heavy eyelashes let me just get some of these like a little cheaper ones because these these work they're nice they don't look cheap and they're light so I like to make sure that my client is comfortable with what they're gonna have on their face so I make sure I have heavy stuff and light stuff you know what I mean so yeah, that's what I got and then this is what I'm excited for. This is a cover girl My voice cracked. So this is what I was excited for the cover girl eyeliner So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. That's literally all I got from the Dollar General I know I just like the bag of liver. If I'm ranting if I'm like talking too fast you guys I blame coffee. Let me open up this eyeliner And let's start applying it. I'm scared because what if it's not good? Okay, I like the tip because it's like one of those like manageable ones where you can like move it however you want It's like flexible. It's not like those like th like thick stiff ones that look like a little stick and you have to literally like Press on there so like the liquid doesn't come off and it smears your makeup I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying, but I hate when that happens to me So I'm so glad for this one. Let me just like wipe this off and it's supposed to be matte too So I'm like kind of excited for it. Oh This this says a lot look I tried smearing it off and it's like just there <laughs> Okay, so that tells me that it's not gonna be that cheap Okay, so let me go ahead and try over here Let me do my line I don't want anything too like thick and crazy so I'm just gonna like do some like simple eyeliner I just want to test it out because like I've been I've been um looking for a new eyeliner um because I used to use this one the Italia Deluxe one and that one's like cheap you guys you can find it from anywhere to like from like a dollar to like five dollars and it's cheap but it's like the best freaking eyeliner I've ever used and I've used it for years I kept buying it but this time I was like, you know what, let me just try this one since it was already there and I was already like at the Dollar General. So I was like, I might as well just like try it, you know? So here I am experimenting, hopefully, hope, hopefully, <laughs> here I am experimenting, hoping that this does not mess up my makeup. Okay, so let me see. So far it's looking kind of good, you guys, not gonna lie. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna do the other side and I want to see how it dries because I don't want it to be cracking, you know. Although the, the one that I was telling you guys about, about um, Italia Deluxe, it does crack. And it's something that sucks, but I would always put on some gel eyeliner first and then the liquid one and that would work so perfect for me. Like it looks so smooth and dark, like dark, dark. So I recommend you do that if you want some dark black eyeliner. Use gel first and then use liquid that's like oh, perfection so also if you guys don't know how to use the eyeliner if you guys are like beginners beginners and you struggle it helps if you lean your face your hand onto your face like this when you apply your eyeliner it just helps you get like more um it helps your hand get a little steady if you know what i mean because you have like support
Okay, I like this eyeliner, you guys. It's kind of nice. All right, now it's time for some lashes. And I'm gonna use these lashes that I've been using for a while. And these are my actual lashes for my lash line. These are in the style Milka. So if you guys are interested, click the link down below in the description or go to MissEmilyPaintsCosmetics.com and you'll find my eyelashes. They are mink lashes, you guys. And let me look for my glue. <laughs> my glue is my glue. So for glue, I like to use my duo glue because, oh guys, like I will not change this glue for anything. I love this glue because it's like very strong and my lashes will not come off like when I tell you that I struggle to pull them off sometimes. <laughs> yep. So I'm just gonna wait for my glue to get tacky. By the way, you guys, if you have any clients, don't do this. <laughs> I do the, do, uh, uh, what was that? <laughs> I do this on my own eyelashes because they're my lashes and I only use them on myself. <laughs> so I blow on it whenever I want. But when it comes to my clients, I don't do that in front of them. Like, I'll just be like, but you have to wait till the glue gets a little tacky just so that you apply it good. And another trick, you guys, is if you have a mirror, you put the mirror. Let me open it. So this makes it so so much easier to apply like eyelashes when you have a mirror facing down like this. And you're looking at yourself like, like this, you know, like downwards. And then you apply it right where you want it. And it's like super, super easy, like so easy. It's like way easier doing it this way versus you looking straight ahead to apply them. You know what I mean? But that's just like my way. You guys don't have to do that. But I just thought I'd show you guys like my little trick, you know? So yeah, there we go. See, it's all tacky. So now it's like fully dry on my lid, which is something that I love about this glue. And now I'm going to put on my other eyelash real quick. Also, you guys, I'm constantly doing, like, um, a lot of shopping lately. So I'm probably going to be doing, like, a lot of, like, Fashion Nova hauls, um, freaking Shane hauls, like, a lot of them. <laughs> so stay tuned for those if you guys like those kind of videos, too. Let's see. I'm waiting for this to kind of dry. Also, you guys, if you like to watch mini tutorials, go to my Instagram. This is my Instagram, and I post mini tutorials like every week. I post like two videos a week or one sometimes, but it's still like very helpful because I use the same palettes over and over again just so you guys can have different ideas on how to use your palettes and not just buy one and then wait for the new one to come out so that you can see your favorite influencer use it <laughs> and then only to buy a new one and a new one and a new one because they usually only come out with palettes one time. I don't do that. I love to make tutorials for you guys so that you guys get ideas, get inspired, and create more looks. Because what's the point of buying a big palette if you're only going to use it for like one or two makeup looks that that influencer made for you? You know what I'm saying? Am I ranting? <laughs> Let me put my eyelash on. Hold on. Hold on, sis. Alright. I put them a little too much towards like the outer area, but that's just how I wanted it so that it looked like I have cat eyes, you know? But yeah, you guys, what do you think of this Cinco de Mayo look? I wish I would have had like a beer or something to drink here while we chilled and talked because it's Cinco de Mayo, you guys. We're supposed to be getting drunk right now. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, you guys, um, this is the final look. If you guys, like I said, want to see more mini tutorials of how I do makeup looks, go to my Instagram account, Miss Emily Paints. Literally, that's just it. Go look me up, follow, comment, like, message me, I respond. <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, this is the final look. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you watched all the way through, you got to comment roses so that I know that you're a real one and you watch the video all the way through because I forced myself to film this video right now since I did not have a good day at work. So show me the appreciation and comment roses. So yeah, ladies, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time that I post a video, bitch, because you're not gonna wanna miss any of these videos. Trust me. So yeah, guys, see you in the next video. Bye.